Right. Rather than another random, we're going to do an Eden run this time. The forced balance from a point onward is more a penalty than a benefit. Yeah, oh, Curse the Labyrinth. <gasps> but we have Forget Me Now. That's interesting. We also have the Dead Bird, which I don't particularly care for. And there's your seed. So our damage isn't that great. It's not bad, but eh, I mean, it depends on the multiplier. It looks like we're a little bit less than normal. Yeah, it looks like we're a little bit weaker than normal. You just had waffles? Oh, man. Oh, yeah? When's your birthday, Royal? You silly wizard folk. So my goal right now, while I'm waiting for an answer, and hopefully I'll remember it, um, while I'm waiting for an answer, is uh, my goal is to not take any damage, get the devil room, and then hopefully be able to use this forget me now so that I can redo this floor, and that'll put me back at, um, it should put me back at caves one, or basement one instead of basement two. Sixth? Uh, mine's the 21st. Um, so I'll be able to do the Kajigger. I'll be able to get a bunch more items and it'll be awesome. So I'll get a hell of a lot of items. I'll get an extra two instead of an extra one. Which would be totally worth it. Because I'm pretty sure that when you use a Forget Me Now on the Curse of the Labyrinth, it puts you back on the first of the two floors. I'm fairly certain. Well, it looks like we got we get, we're two shotting these, so that looks about right. So we uh, yeah, we got a decent multiplier. Are you kidding? Oh hell, this is gonna suck. Okay, got it. Whew, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. You mentioned I mentioned that yesterday. Well, excuse me, I don't remember what the hell I said yesterday. I don't remember what I said five minutes ago. I had the memory of a goldfish. I don't remember shit. You could tell me you murdered someone, and I would probably forget it unless it's song lyrics or nonsense from an anime. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm going to use the Forget Me Now no matter what, but I want the Devil Room first. Alright, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the follow. Hopefully we'll see you again. Have a good day, hon. Huh? And yeah, it should return me the first one. It should. I don't know how I feel about, um... I really don't know how I feel about technology. It's not fun anymore. Like, it used to be awesome. But it's just not that fun anymore. They took out all the cool, badass synergies and stuff. Hey, could you not dip? Thanks. Oh, they didn't even give me a... Didn't even give me a soul heart. You say nay? Yeah, because it doesn't... Like, you can't get cool tear effects and stuff with it. Which kind of... Yeah, it defeats the purpose. Technology in the first one was awesome, because you could get Wiggle Worm and it would just, like, zap the whole screen, and it was great. And, you know, the laser got bigger and thicker and, I want to say harder. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Get your mind out of the gutters, guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, technology is just not fun anymore. <gasps> really, only Tech.5 is any good now. And hopefully they'll put the synergies back in, because the fact that it lost so many badass synergies really just took it from a... A fun item to a meh item. Granted, I will take Brimstone if I get that. Because I haven't had a Brimstone run in a while. And then I'll just get Ludovico. And we'll do a Brimvico run. Ah, there is a Soul Heart. You gotta go. Okay, bye saplings. So Isaac is emitting holograms. Dude, come on, you know I was being perverse. Thank you so much for the follow, though. And er, you didn't follow tonight. You've been a follower. Thanks for stopping back in. It was good to see you again. Alright, make short work of this fight. Because I really just don't care. Alright, 
Easy. Breezy, beautiful cover girl. Don't don't ask me where I come up with any of the things I say, because I don't think before I speak. It just comes out of my mouth and doesn't ever make any sense. It never does. Alright. Oh, and it's Monstro. Monstro is an easy fight. We shouldn't take any damage here. Especially since this is the monster that can't jump. Which is ironic given he's the given he's the darker monstro. But I guess dark monsters can't jump. Which is probably races somewhere. Alright, so I need you to give me a health up monstro. Can you do that for me? Because I would like a health up for this whole devil room nonsense. Because unless I get dead cat, I'm only going to be able to take one thing. And I would like to take more than one thing. Assuming I'm given the option. But I don't know if I will be given the option. I, just, I don't know. I straight up do not know. You're sorry, you reject your perversion and substitute geekery? Oh, fine. Ugh, it's so bad. I'm gonna take it anyway. Alright, let's go finish up the floor. We're gonna do a full clear, and then we'll forget me now. You and your geekery. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So Brother Bobby is terrible, but I want Devil Rooms this run. So, that's why I took it. I'm gonna lock that shit in. Love that. Corralling them bitches. Uh, yeah, I'll totally do this. Oh, sharp look. Yep. Hundred billion percent. Wait, is there a... There's a soul heart. We'll take that too. We'll take that too. So short plug, we're well on our way to hopefully a breaking run. Assuming everything works out as planned. But we have no idea if it will. We can only hope. We can only hope. Oh, this might give us some bombs, which we could desperately use. Which we kind of desperately need. Uh, actually, hold on. Excuse me a moment. Huh. Must be next to the shop. Oh well. Oh well. Alright. Nice! It did take us back to the first one. We were correct in our assumption! Curse of the fucking blind. God damn it. God damn Curse of the Blind. I hate you. I hate you so much, Curse of the Blind. You have been, like, my fucking burden today. Every fucking run, we've had Curse of the Blind. It's crazy. Alright, so there's our boss room, which I guess we'll just fight and get it over with. And then we'll find our item room, and everything will be magical! Hey, look at that! It's the champion Monstro again! It's the same champion. I would laugh my ass off if we fought Duke of Flies on the next floor. I would laugh my ass off. I think it would just be so cool. Like, I know it's random and all, but whatever. It would be cool. Alright, I shouldn't have been able to dodge that, but I was. And I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. His, like, he closes one eye and the other just bugs out. It's creepy. 
It's kind of creepy, Monstro. Alright, range up. That's not what I wanted, but I mean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Yep. Am I geeky enough since I wear glasses? And stream video games for fun? Like, that's gotta be pretty... That's gotta be pretty up there. I mean, all things considered. God, I hate Curse of the Blind. Son of a... I'm tempted to start this run over. I am tempted to scrap everything and start this fucking run over. That's how much I'm unhappy with this. That is how unhappy I am with this. Fucking Tech 2. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, I got trolled pretty bad right there. That's just mean game. That's so mean. If there aren't words to describe how mean that is. You don't want your tech one? Well, here's a blind tech two. Yeah. Man, fuck you, game. Fuck you. That's why I hate Curse of the Blind. It's so bad. So now I've got this stupid 35% damage down. And it's halved when it's coming out of my laser. But it hits ten times a second, so that's good at least. God, I hate Tech 2. And we got a, a Tears down, too, for our, t our eye that's still shooting Tears. We can't angle our shots right. All around is bad. It's just bad. This is so bad. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Christ. I should have just taken tech one. Welcome back, Sabzi. You missed some silliness with a um, forget me now on a curse of the labyrinth floor. And then more silliness because this game decided to give me tech two because it fucking hates me. <laughs> Which it's been pointed out is probably retribution for not taking technology one. Ah, oh, and then we get a speed down. This is so bad. This is so bad. As if it wasn't shitty enough. <laughs> Gives me flush. <sighs> I hate everything about this. I hate everything about this. Can I just go home? <laughs> Can I just go home? I don't want to be here anymore. This is basement sucks. It kind of sucks a lot, though. What? I didn't even get a double room. What the hell? What the... You know what? Fuck it. We're already, f we're already fucked. We might as well take experimental treatment. Have one giant eye and one fucking... <sighs> I am home. In the cellar of my home, specifically. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get the curse room. Or the double room out of that. Damn it. A little bit upset. That's not even worth it. No, my stomach's acting up because I'm hungry. I'm not even gonna check for the um for the um secret room. I'll let mummy take care of me. Yeah, she'll just stab me. Which I guess is, which, which honestly, which honestly, being stabbed by mom would be an upgrade from where the current situation is. If experimental treatment actually did what it said, it might not be the worst item ever. But it doesn't do exactly what it says. It, it lies. It lies. It's 
just a filthy liar. On the bright side, this will kill all four of these guys. Bombs are key. Alright, that's not terrible. It's good to know for the future at the very least. And I should probably not be using pills until I've killed the boss and gotten my item room. Because I have a feeling this game would... Like right now, I have a feeling the game would just relish the opportunity to send me to the I Am Error room. Experimental treatment. A psychological... Psychology experiment to see who's fooled. That sounds about right. Alright, one more penny and we can go to the shop. Wait, do I have a curse this for? No. Thank goodness. Excuse me. Please and thank you. And there it is. Plus an extra five cents. I mean, I like the, the visual effects of technology and Tech 2 and all that, but they're just really shitty items. They're not fun anymore. I miss the old technology. You know what I really miss? I miss the date. I miss the daily seed that they used to have on the Isaac subreddit. Alright. Do I want any of those? You. <laughs> Fun. More like trolled hardcore. The Curse of the Blind giving me, um. Curse of the Blind giving me tech too. God, I hate Curse of the Blind so Binding on one of the worst items in the game. Not even good technology. It's tech two. It's terrible. It should be banned. I hate this item so much. Ow! Hey, could you? Did you pick a side? Thank you. Maybe we'll get homing. I mean, if we got homing, that would make this less terrible. But it would not salvage it. Mostly because of the stupid damage multiplier losing me so much of my damage. <gasps> but it's Mega Maw! I love Mega Maw. He's such a fun boss. He's one of my favorites. Oh, right, I have Dead Bird. Don't forget about that. Hey, Dead Bird, can you? Thank you. I like it when Dead Bird actually does what I pay it to. Alright, I need to stop. Because this is just dumb. Alright, at least none of those are troll bombs. Um, let's... Take the guppy item. This game. Alright, where's my item room? I would like my item room, please. Please and thank you. Got her. It's 16 minutes in and we're only on, like, the caves one. Because <laughs> of the stupid shenanigans that have been going on. Yeah, homing would make this not terrible. It takes forever to kill anything. This is so bad. If a cat could save this run, Mom's knife could save this run. I think Brimstone might be able to save this run. I would take Mom's knife this time if if the game proffered it to me. Of course, I don't need the um, piercing anymore since I've got it. If the game offered me piercing, I would take it. Or not piercing. If the game offered me mom's knife or anything that overwrites this, I would take it. Except fetus in a jar. Except Dr. Fetus. Would not take that. Because if I took that, I would just screw myself. Basically, anything that overwrites this stupid thing, I would take. Because I hate it. 
Though I don't know if it would fix the damage multiplier that we've got from it. I don't think it would. I don't know. Mom's nice, brimstones, the death sign. Yeah. Death signs. Brimstone keeps the. Th oh, damn it. That sucks. Sucks so much. Go away, crazy legs. I don't like you. I'm not a fan of the crazy leg spiders. They're not my friend. They are not my friend. Mom's knife doesn't overwrite texture. God damn it. Why am I playing this game still? I should have reset when I had the chance. Because this is just so bad. It's fucking painful. It's like lobotomizing myself. It's just bad. And then I go and do something stupid like that. How come there isn't a lobotomy item in this game? Like, that's a real question I have. Why is there not a lobotomy item? Oh my god. Oh my god. Game. What are you doing to me? Why do you hate me so much? What did I ever do to you aside from break you in half yesterday? Like seriously, I broke the game. It was great. This is not... Oh man, Epic Fetus doesn't remove it too? Oh my god. Oh my god. So Tech 2 is just like the run killer. It's just, that's what it is. It's the run killer. On the bright side, it provides light and dark rooms. I mean, if you consider that a bright side. Oh, okay. I'm actually not going to die on purpose. As much as I want to. The mulligan doesn't really help because it's kind of broken. It doesn't spawn flies. Like... Guppy and the Mulligan are kind of broken with uh, technology. I think they fixed it with technology, but not Tech 2. Didn't I pick up the Mulligan? Yeah, I picked up the Mulligan. I, I've spawned like one fly. Because it doesn't work with technology 2. It works with the tears from your other eye, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with technology 2. Otherwise, I would be spawning a stupid number of flies all the time since it hits so incredibly often. Normally I would get those, but I just don't care right now. I apologize for the seizures you're all getting, though. have the mulligan. I picked it up in the last item room. See? Right there. Oh my god, this run is so bad. There are not words to describe it. I would have to make up new words to describe how bad this is. I need a red mage. And if anybody gets that reference, you get five points. The points are meaningless, though. Oh, because that was a, a gazing globe in. No wonder. Okay, let's try to go quickly. Oh my god. Really? Oh, fuck me. So, okay. So at least our fire rate is good. Yeah, I, di I totally died on that run. You're not wrong. So, Breath of Life is, um, like, the most worthless item ever. The way it works is... Hey, Pyromaniac! Nice. The way it works is just kind of silly. Um, by that, no one can really decide how exactly it works. Its function is... 
the weirdest of mysteries because you have to hold the thing down a certain amount of time and it gives you a certain number of invincibility but if you use it for two for like a half second too long it doesn't work right it doesn't make any sense the item just does not make sense it is an enigma wrapped in a mystery wrapped in another enigma wrapped in a taco shell it doesn't make fucking sense so we're not going to use it we're going to hope for a better spacebar item as quickly as possible and we're just going to keep on keep on on because that thing's terrible. Ow, god damn it. That wasn't even my fault. Alright, at least I have a good tier rate on this run. Thank you, sad onion. I love the pyro face, by the way. I really do. I think it's awesome. It's a taco shell wrapped in a burrito. Delicious. Man, now I want a burrito. Now I totally want a burrito. God, I wish I had money. <laughs> but I'm poor right now. <laughs> Stupid. Damn you, bank transfers! You're not fast enough! I want my money now, damn it. I probably could have gotten the, um... Wrapped in a gyro. Wrapped in a euro. I probably could have gotten the secret room there, but I just didn't care enough. Alright, so explosions don't hurt me. Does that mean that these guys can't hurt me? Like, when they explode? I don't know. Oh, well. I don't care. Just try not to let them hit me. Do remember that Sabzi's an Aussie, so what she what's what's normal here is backwards in Aussieland. It might not hold true in the great land of Oz. Z. Aussieland. Emperor card. You don't say. Wrapped in a Euros. <laughs> Wrapped in a pizza. Like that one, um, was that an SNL skit, I think it was? I don't remember. <laughs> Wrapped in a kebab. Why well, have abs and you can have kebabs? Pretty sure those explode or ceiling. Now. Okay. They're, I think they're called ticking spiders. I think is the official title for them. Like these guys are fat flies. Or full flies. Alright, I need some soul hearts game. Eh. Demon baby. Oh, I have abs and you can have kebabs. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. You know, until it does. Oh my god, not this room. This room is terrible. I usually take damage in this room. So I'm just gonna pop out. Oh my god, blight it open. This fight used to be fair, but the little guy is just so fast now that this fight really isn't fair all the time. Okay, that worked. Wrapped in butcher's paper with chips. <laughs> I'm not taking that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it. Oh, wait a minute, I have nine lives. How did I, how did I forget that? How did I forget I had nine lives? Like, I totally blanked on the fact that I have nine lives. I can spend as much health as I want. That's right, you die on the blood. You die on the blood. 
All right, we're going to take that instead of the heart trinket. You submitted a burrito fun for it? Dude, you did not have to do that. I have... <laughs> I have cash. It's just transferring right now, and it's going to take a couple of days for it to finish transferring. I was just complaining to complain. But now I'm going to have to go get a burrito for lunch. And it's going to be fucking delicious. Hmm. Not it? Oh, right, because it's probably in between these two. Duh, I'm an idiot. Hmm. Kinda hoping there would be nine cents in here. I was really hoping for nine cents in here. Silly, but thank you anyway. I do appreciate. Your rants are entertaining enough that you all throw money at it. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy. That's what I'm here for. Make sure people are enjoying themselves. And also video games. I mean, that's a bonus. <laughs> and to think. <sighs> I could be doing anything else right now. Like sleeping. I can't. I can't. I could be sleeping, though. Could be curled up nice and warm in bed asleep. God damn it. Well, there weren't any semblance of a double room I had this floor. So we have 36% times 0.25. So, you know, we have like a 4.5% chance at this point. Or is it 9%? Hell yeah, video games. They're the best, man. <laughs> PayPal message is less burrito friendly. Should should I open it and read it? Should should I go check the email and read it? Hold on. I'm gonna totally do that. <laughs> Some now I'm curious. Yeah, nine percent. Yeah, I did the I did the math wrong. I thought nine percent and then have that, but I was right the first time. I'm usually good at percentages. All right, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let me put this over here. I got I gotta see what this says. All right, I'm not going to read that out loud. Because reasons. But thank you regardless. I'm glad you enjoy the entertainment. And to answer your the the one point, the um the anti stuff, it's less hatred at a group and more Stupid extremism pisses me off. My green screen is fuzzy. Yeah, it does that. Ah. But thank you so much. Ah. Get away. Burrito reasons. Burrito reasons are the best reasons. Oh god, I can't believe that hit me. Ow! Oh god, that hurt. That was my foot. Ow. That hurt a lot. <laughs> At least it's running on a tech, too. 
Alright, I should probably stay in range of whatever I'm hitting. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, like, not to get too in, in detail since it was essentially a private message. Um, like, there's a lot of shit that's wrong with the world in a lot of ways. And being vitrolic and basically just a jackass does not help. And unfortunately, given the place where a lot of this, um, where a lot of the discussion of these things comes, it very much devolves into a th us versus them discussion. And if you decide that you switch sides and you are then you are then seen as part of them if you don't agree with whatever dogma is being spat. And I don't like the extreme. God damn it! <sighs> Donate to the Reno Fund and I injure myself. I can't help it. I'm clumsy. I just don't like extremism in that sort of way because it's detrimental to whatever movement you're actually trying to be a part of. Because when it becomes something that people, <sighs> there's a way to put this. It's not going to sound stupid and cyclical. But yeah. Being vitrolic really just undermines the whole point of whatever you're trying to say. So, generally it's not a good idea to be a vitrolic asshole and start othering people. Because that's where most hate comes from in general, is we, we tend to find a reason to hate someone because they're different. You know, if... This is gonna be... An, this is gonna end up being another rant. Let me turn off my TV while I rant. It's something that um, a lot of people, like... I want to preface this with racism is a thing. It is totally a thing, and I'm not going to say that it's not. Um, but say, you know, somebody cuts you off somewhere. It can be in a car, it can be in a fucking shopping center in, a, you know, the aisle with their car. You know, then it's that bitch cut me off. But it's never that bitch because then it's just another person. It's that fat bitch or that black bitch. And even if it has nothing to do with whatever they've done to slight you, or your perceived slight, you're going to other them. And unfortunately, that's the sort of thing that breeds hate. And um, I just don't like that a lot of movements that started out with noble goals have devolved into that sort of thing as people come and go. And unfortunately, once someone decides that they don't want to be a part of said hatred, usually they become the target of said hatred. And that's where I have a problem with it. Because a lot of the stuff that, like, a lot of the stuff that I tend to rant about, god damn it, I need to pay attention, but I'm busy ranting. A lot of the stuff that I rant about, on a base level, I agree. You know, it's like the whole, the people that say there's equality. Yeah, totally, everybody needs that. And again, like I prefaced with racism, not, there's no way to say that that sort of thing doesn't exist. Because, unfortunately, isms do exist. Um, I'm going to finish this room before I continue. But the horrible extremism that people go to when they're defending this goes above and beyond the point where it's reasonable. And at that point, you need to step back and say, why is there so much hate? What the fuck is wrong with you people? You're not helping your cause, you're just making people hate you. And they're not going to back you up if they hate you. And really, hate and that sort of shit is not the best way to go about converting people to your cause. Facts, damn it. That's how you get people to side with you. Cold, hard facts. And or cold, hard cash. But it has to be something that's cold and hard. And see, I looped it right back around to something silly. God damn it. Yeah, the internet, where everyone is a traitor. That's pretty accurate. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Boney. Just realized I have two trails following me. Oh, man. I need to get, um... I need to get Aquarius so that I can have all three. I can have red, white, and blue. Because <laughs> America. <laughs> Could you imagine if I got... If I got... If I got... Aquarius, I would be so happy just to have all three trails following me. I would be so incredibly happy. Did I go up here already? I did. You know what? I've lost a bunch of lives already. What the hell?
Alright, hematomesis is actually really good in this situation because I can do that and then I can leave. So yeah. Vegetarianism, extremism, athleticism, total isms, aren't they though? But when you get back to, when you get down to it, uh, some of those things are a bit militant. There are militant vegans, like PETA, who spread lies and stuff to try to get people in their causes. That whole bullshit with the shearing thing, where it's like the ugly side of Uggs, and they show these sheep that have gotten chopped up and are cut in all these horrible ways, and any person who's ever worked with wool is going to say, what the fuck is wrong with these people? You're spreading lies. Athleticism, you've got people that are like... Um, you've got the people that are body positive, healthy at any weight, that are not the ones that are just like, oh, they're a little pudgy. I'm talking about the people that are morbidly obese and are like, no, I'm healthy. I don't have to exercise. Totally things. Totally things that spread hate. Because we find reasons to make people different from us. We find reasons to say, this person isn't like me and that's why I hate them. God damn it, I died in a stupid way. So it's... It is a thing. Because we other people. Instead of being a collective of human beings, we other people. And I mean, I was raised in the South. I'm from Virginia. I, you know, I live here and, and trust me, I was raised with some pretty fucked up views. And some of them are hard to get rid of. And not all of them am I proud of. But, you know, that's a thing that exists. Practitioner of extremism is, is an extremist. What would a practitioner of vegetarianism be? A vegetarist? <laughs> an athleticist? <laughs> yes. Yes. That is what those people are. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's the, mil the militant vegans is enough. Mm. Of course, take everything I say with a grain of salt, because I'm just some asshole on the internet. So I'm just as much a problem with them. I just don't like hate. Mostly because I hate myself, and I don't want other people to hate me, because that's too much hate. That's too many people hating me, and I can't deal with that. If only we all had burritos. Man... I am so hungry for some fucking burritos right now. <laughs> How dare you have an opinion that's different from mine? How dare you? Vote communism. Don't don't listen to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. I'm just being silly. Damn it! I thought I dodged that. I thought I was thought I was so good at dodging. And then I wasn't. Hate is bad, yes, but in a lot of ways, forced acceptance is even worse. Good morning! Oh, I'm looking at the chat. Exceptional is... <laughs> to excel is to fail. Embrace normalcy. Everyone should be equal. Could this fly just stop doing what it's doing? Oh my fucking god. Vote Sabzi. I'm okay with that. I have way too many rants. I need to cut back on my ranting. That's not true. I would never do that. I would never cut back on my ranting. I like ranting too much. I know follow you. You're off work for a while looking for something to do until 2pm. Well, we'll be here until this run finishes, but this run is going to probably be the last one for the night. Was, oh god. Hmm. That could have been worse. We're actually already like five minutes from our normal stop time, but since we're in the middle of a run, I'm going to finish it. Hey, health up. That's actually not bad. That's how you get rants. Well, hopefully I'm a streamer you can enjoy. I try to be enjoyable. But I do rant a lot. I rant a lot. So, <laughs> be prepared. I'm very opinionated and I am not afraid to share those opinions. Most of them are very stupid. But they're mine, and I'm proud of them. 
unless I'm wrong. And then, you know, when someone says that I'm wrong and they show me facts behind it, I accept their opinion. I just, I just rant a lot. Because it's the only way that keeps me talking. Otherwise, I sit here and I'm like, well, I don't know what to say, so I'll just say nothing. So instead, I rant about stupid shit. Like how people hate other people and it's totally not cool. Because hate is bad, yo. Hate is bad, yo. Ranting is bad. It shows you have strong opinions about things. Yes, I do. I am a product of my experiences or some other such bullshit. Damn it! Really? Bastards. Unfortunately, my opinions occasionally annoy people. Like, especially my views on religion. And which is ironic, because I don't think I rant about religion very much in the stream. Uh, despite the fact that it's a game with very strong religious overtones. In the ways that they're kind of corrupting. Anyway. Your sister and you had a conversation, interesting conversation on the weekend, that I would probably have loved to get down on. Oh yeah? What's it about? What, what was thine conversation? No, okay. That's not gonna go well. This is your opinion. There are many like it, but this one is yours. Yes. As your father would say, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them and they all stink. Well, that's a common phrase. But yes. This is my opinion and this is my something. One is for fighting and one is because- Shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm talking, damn it. You know, like a crotchety old man. How dare you interrupt me? Get off my lawn, you stupid kids. Your sister is morbidly obese. She's 5'4 and close to 300 pounds, and she hates fat acceptance culture. Well, she should. It's terrible. Like, it's weird because, you know, it's the problem is mostly with people that say, you know, it's whatever reason. You know, they come up with excuses and they try to say they're healthy when they're not. Because, you know, you can't, you have only so much control over your weight. And you do have control over it. But, you know, at a certain point you go from being healthily overweight to healthily underweight if you go too far in any degree. But yeah, that acceptance, like I'm probably, I need to lose some weight. But people say I look fine. It's like, I know I look fine, but I still need to lose some weight. But I also don't weigh 300 pounds. And if I was that heavy, and people were like, no, you're totally fine, I would probably punch them in the face because they'd be like, no, dude, I, you know, had you know, I'd list off such and such a region. But whatever. Like, there's a limit to what you should accept as acceptable. That's my opinion. This her argument is being fat is not healthy, it's not pretty, and it's no way attractive, and I hate that people in society is forcing people to idolize people who have or will develop severe health issues because they won't get off their asses and lose weight. There you go. Granted, there are people that have fetishes for that sort of thing, and that's their business. Because fetishes are weird. But as a whole, no, it's not. But you know what? It's their life, and if they want to fucking ruin it, whatever, it's not my fault. Mm. I need to exercise more, but it fucking gives me a headache. I hate it. I hate it. I wish I could exercise more. I just hate those headaches, because they're horrible migraines. Speaking of which, I need to get back on what I was doing before our pipes burst. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew, but one of our pipes just started leaking the other day. So that was fun. I think I might have ranted about that yesterday. But one of our pipes started leaking. Fetish is one thing, but when society as a whole say fat is beautiful, men want meat, not bones, then it becomes a problem. You're, you're right. Um, but yeah, it's that whole... It's because it becomes an extreme. There is a problem with fat shaming, because... A lot of times it's not something that, you know, you can just flip a switch and instantly lose weight. 
And there's no reason to shame someone because of it. You should positively encourage them to get healthy. And it becomes it's a backlash sort of thing. It's a knee-jerk reaction, and it goes too far instead of going, dude, calm down, I understand, to fuck you, I'm hot, you're just jealous, and it cycles back. Where fat suggested that you had enough money and exercise? I, I need to stop reading chat. You need to die. Okay. Hearts and masks, please stop what you're doing, because I hate you. I fucking hate you. Damn it, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, because hearts and masks are terrible. But it comes down to the thing, because there are people that'll say that, you know, there are people that are fucking bodybuilders, and they'll say, well, I have a BMI of such and such that puts them at obese, but because it's muscle, it doesn't work that way. And those are things that have to be taken into consideration, because unless you know what another person's exact body chemistry is, you should never, like, go to any extreme with them. Again, gently encouraging, positively reinforcing them to get healthy the best way to do things. Except the fact that it's not going to be an overnight thing. Don't expect it to be. On either end, either the person who needs to lose weight or the person, damn it, or the person who's yelling at them to lose weight. Now, if you say to, if you say to, uh, da, 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 the problem is that people blow the idea of shaming out of abortion. If I tell my sister you need to lose some weight before your health tanks, that's not shaming. That's just for, for health and well-being. Correct. If you say you're a disgusting piece of shit, you fat fuck, don't sit on my couch or you'll break it, that is shaming. Also correct. And unfortunately, under the guise of anonymity, people will often go with the latter because they can get away with it. As our dear wizard says. Has so rightfully pointed out. Or not rightfully, but correctly pointed out. So, yeah. Well, no, I know that it is, but it's one of the arguments that people will make. I'm simply saying it's a thing that happens. Whoops. I'm not saying it's a very good scale, it's just a thing that people will argue. I don't know, the whole world's fucked. That's that's what it comes down to, the whole world is fucked. I'm fucked, you're fucked, we're all fucked for ice cream. Wait, that actually sounds delicious. That actually sounds delicious! Everybody loves ice cream. Oh, damn it. What hit me? Whatever, that's a dead end, I'm not going back there. So I'm probably going to die, and this run's probably going to be over, and we're probably going to be done for the night. Because I am very hungry. Damn it! Can I not take damage for five seconds? <laughs> you are very rightful. Ah, uh, fuck me. Alright, that's going to be it. Because I'm hungry as shit. Speaking of being fat. <laughs> I'm hungry as shit. <sighs> I'm going to eat some breakfast, and I'm going to go for a burrito later gonna be delicious. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, we didn't get to continue our streak from earlier, but, you know, we didn't do too bad. What are we doing on our wins? Deaths? Man, mom kills only 133? God. As someone who's been slim my entire life and has worked to keep it that way, even you're not immune. Your sister gets the fat jokes, I get told that I must be anorexic. Or since they can't make fun of my weight, they make fun of your hair, or any number of other things. Yeah, I guess those people are assholes. My family does that. Like, I went to Australia for three months, and I lost a ton of weight, both because I was really poor at the time. Like, I used all my money to fly out there, and then no one was hiring, because it was in 2008 when the economy tanked. And, um, I couldn't get, like, no one would hire me, so I was eating very little. And I come back, and I'd lost a bunch of weight, my family was like, Oh my god, you look like a skeleton! And it's like, dude... I'm like 120 pounds. I'm not even that skinny. You know, if I was like 100, sure. Now granted, I'm 5'8". 
So, that's kind of skinny for me. Probably a little bit less than I should weigh. But not, like, skeletal like they were saying. Which is ridiculous. It's like, all of a sudden, you lose 10 pounds and people go, Oh my god, you're anorexic. No! I was just stuck in another country for three months and I had to live off some rationing. Bastards. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna cut the episode. <laughs> Because this has been a lot of ranting. So I hope you all enjoyed. This has actually been a very fun conversation, despite my normal rantings just being me yelling at the screen the screen, and getting pissed off. Um, so thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed, please do the little like and subscribe thing. And I will see you all next time. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.